that is one among the numerous situations GSM subscribers in Benin City find themselves as they stayed in the ruins, waiting patiently in order to gain access to the re-registration centers. Some subscribers who spoke on the development said they are groaning in pains occasioned by what they described as an unnecessary exercise orchestrated by the network providers to inflict pains on their customers. I've been here since uh, around uh, 7.45. So at the time I came, there was nobody on ground to attend to us. But after then, some of the personnel they came. But the process is slow. The system they are using now, you see the crowd of people here, we have here this morning. And there's no hope that they can, we can, they can round up or attend to all those people here today. They would have scheduled this whole thing into different uh, divisions. Most of them claimed that they registered their sins previously and wondered why the network providers are calling on them to undergo another registration with alleged threat that failure to do so will have their lines blocked. I arrived there around 7.30 a.m. When I came down, I was put outside. They didn't even let us in. And as much as I've done the registration before and I was sent a text message of the confirmation. So this process is strained off and it's not encouraging. It's around 7 o'clock, so... My land, they, they sent me a message that they want to block my SIM, so I want to verify it. I've been on the queue for like three hours now. I don't know what they are doing. I also discovered that uh, people hardly come out from the, the gates. They have only two points. I was expecting them to have a lot of points where people could do this thing easily without uh, disturbing their businesses and all that. But I don't know exactly what's happening. Be meanwhile, we did this in some time ago, so why are we doing it again now? They are suffering us. Attempts to obtain comment from the officials of the network providers was unsuccessful. As sources close to the offices said they are not competent to speak on the issue. Wellington Hakodeja reporting.